Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword 4, The Angel of Death. Today the game seems to be playing ball a little bit, it's less laggy. I don't really know why sometimes it lags and other times it doesn't. It's just really random, there's nothing that I can tell <laughs> that causes it. But we're not going to complain because um, we seem to be relatively lag free today. So we might just have to accept that some episodes are going to be a bit laggy. Um, could be worse I suppose, the game could not work at all. Let's use this key card that we got last time. Uh, where the hell is it? Is it this one? Yeah, that's the one. And this should get us into the area with the stolen manuscript, I hope. Oh, there's the door. I was thinking Thank it was going to be... For secret doorways. I was thinking it was going to be underneath a, a box or a crate or something, but it's not. Oh, God, it's very dark in here. Okay, up the stairs we go. Uh, George, do you want to... <laughs> oh, God, the rotating camera is making this very awkward. Wow, um, there's some light coming through there. Anything this way? Nope, just a random platform. Okay, so we've got all sorts of boxes and things here. It doesn't look like we can do anything with that. Uh, more boxes here. A desk. Can we look in the desk? Even in the secret office, they lock the drawers. Okay, so there's They're obviously... They're very paranoid or these drawers are fake fronts. All right, so there must be a key somewhere, I guess, or maybe like a hidden button or something's possible. Let's look out of here. I can see out over the meatpacking company. Can't say I feel that factory boss gene kicking in, though. <laughs> you never know, a change of career might be good for you, George. <clears throat> is this one locked as well? So this is where it is, right? Ah. What's that? Let's have a look at whatever that is. Our inventory goes all the way around now. That's pretty cool. Something wrapped in silk hanky. Whatever's wrapped in this handkerchief must be very precious to someone. Terrific. A photograph of actress Lucy Chu from that film In Cold Blood. Nice, but not worth wrapping in a handkerchief. Uh, uh, okay. I, I don't want to really know why it was in the handkerchief. I, I, I don't know if that's something weird. Feels like it's something weird. The drawers are locked. Okay, the drawers are locked. We don't have any keys for that. Let's uh, try these drawers. The drawers are locked. These no ones. Trying to open them. Okay, these are, are locked as well. Um, <clears throat> I guess we open this. The cabinet's locked and secured so tightly that it's impossible to open. Even a seasoned pro would struggle here. Okay. It's the cabinet where finger stashed Anna Maria's manuscript. Secure being the operative word. Yeah. I've never seen so many locks. Oh, God. How am I going to get into it? I don't know. Can we... No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Okay. We're not going to get into it with our bare hands. Can we do anything with this? Uh... It looks like it's on wheels. No way am I going to get into that cabinet with <coughs> my bare hands. Can we, like, push it or anything? Oh, we can get behind it. That's weird. No way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Okay. It's the cabinet where Finger stashed Anna Maria's manuscript. Alright, so we can't do anything obvious with that. There's another window here. Oh, we're seeing... Through the open window, I can just see the bone cruncher. The... Falling into that thing would be a big mistake. I the... bet it could tear cars apart. The bone cruncher. Okay. Um, <clears throat> interesting. <clears throat> Sorry. So we can't... Oh, hang on. There's something new here. I was going to say we can't push it, but it looks like... Oh, hang on. The secure cabinet's wheels are rusted and seized up. Ah. Nothing a bit of oil or grease won't fix. Right, so we need some oil or some grease. Uh, hmm. Do we have anything that's got oil or grease? I mean, this might do. I, I don't know why this would work, but... Using that won't work. No, okay. So I guess we're going to have to find some oil or some grease, but... I mean, didn't... Ah, didn't... Didn't George say something about the... The meat in the, the smoker being really greasy or something? He said something about having to use, like, industrial strength stuff to take the grease off his hands or something like that. So I wonder if we can... Can use that? Let's see. Uh, where is the smoker place from here? Starting to get a bit lost in this place. It's massive. Is it through here? Uh, no. Where was it? Was it all the way over the other side? 
think it might have been actually. Yeah, the game is performing so much better today. I'm not really sure <laughs> why that would be. It's, it's bizarre. I've not changed any settings. I even tried playing another game after this one, after the recording to see if it was my computer. It wasn't. That was working perfectly. It just seems to be random. Right, these are the things I was talking about. There's meat hanging from the ceiling, dripping with fat onto the floor. Yeah. It smells powerful and the heat's intense. So I wonder Grandpa if we can... Grandpa Stobart's home distillery all over again. I wonder if we can collect some of this, um, this fat. No, okay. Uh, can we like... No, okay. Maybe the hanky? Yes, okay, right. Well, that stain sure won't ever come out. So, we've got some grease on there now, I'm guessing. Or some fat. Um, oh, where's it gone? Is it rotated around? There, okay. Grease soaked hanky, that's the one. Right, let's take that back and use that on the wheels then. That should hopefully work. Is there, is there a cut through this way? I think there is actually, isn't there? Because this is that new room. Whether or not it's any quicker, I, I don't know. Could be. It's probably about the same, I think, isn't it? Where's the secret room gone? Oh god, I'm getting all turned around in this place. Maybe it is quicker. Yeah, it probably is in hindsight. Oh well. Well, if we need to go out to get anything else, we should remember that. Um, hmm. These stairs are a bit awkward with this rotating camera, aren't they? Because <laughs> the directional keys make you run a different direction when the camera turns. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. 2006 for you. Right. Let's use this on here. Maybe the grease from the handkerchief could loosen up those wheels. I'm hoping so. Okay. Yeah, that should do it. The wheels might move a little now. So, no we... way am I going to get into that cabinet with my bare hands. Oh, we got to. Yeah, we've got to do that. Okay. Oh. Hopefully nobody heard that. So I'm guessing we're going to turn that on, but I mean it would probably smash up the cabinet, but. There's also the manuscript in there, which we don't really want to shred up, so... Not sure if this is one of George's brightest ideas. But, you know, here we go. Uh, oh, we need the keys, don't we? Did we bring the key? I'm, I'm sure we brought the keys with us. Or did we... Oh, no, I think we put the keys back into the other thing, didn't we? Yeah, there they are. All right, let's take the keys. Can we... Do we have to lower it down first? Yeah, it looks like we do. All right, well, um, how do how do we get? Oh, there we go. Okay, fine. Maybe we could have just right clicked and done it. I don't know. Anyway, let's use this. Hopefully, none of these guards are going to hear this. Or mafia guys. I put the keys back in the bone cruncher. All right, let's use the bone cruncher. Oh, it's working. Yep, yeah, cool. Okay, what the hell is that? Underneath the MP3 player is Anna Maria's manuscript. Ah, so we've got the manuscript and his MP3 player. <laughs> it's the real thing, all right. 14th century. The question is, how am I going to research it? Museums are out of the question. Somewhere much more salubrious. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. We're we're off. We're not even gonna have to manually head back. Well, he's gonna be happy to get his MP3 hey, player Maria. back. Look. George, you found it. Oh, thank you, thank you. All part of the service. What's with the clapping? Now, and let's see just what we've got here. Okay. Interesting. So this is this is more like here historical stuff. That's why we love Broken Sword, right? Latin part. Oh, Latin header. It says, "Below the fortress of the one true patriarch awaits the angel." 
Okay. For he who is worthy and follows the path of the righteous. Your Latin's good. Yeah. It was kind of geeky at school, but you know what? It sure paid off. Yeah, we. So, all we need to do is work out who the true patriarch was, and where his fortress is. And then find a way to get below it. But which fortress? Good question. Uh, so we've got a castle, we've got hell, we've got an angel, we've got a fortified city. Oh god, there's loads of stuff. All right, let's have a look at this. It says, the first, find the knights who share a horse and grasp the stone to open the way. Maybe the first refers to the path that the righteous must take to reach the angel. Maybe. That makes sense. So we should understand the clue once we arrive at the right place. Okay, part two. It says, the second, address the arms upon the shields and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. Right. It says, the third, follow the master's worldly route and prove yourself worthy to lift. First, the fortress where he did fight, but was overwhelmed by Mamluk's might. Then he traveled to Longshank's fair city, and as Grand Preceptor, he was received. To the temple at Vilnov, where he was appointed Grand Master of the Order, before journeying to the island where he holds his court. Okay, this is really complicated. So we've got coats of arms. Four knights with shields. The fourth coat of arms is hidden. Okay. How do we... Oh, okay, we can just use the space bar. So there's an idol. Hey, I recognise this. It's Baphomet, the idol that the Templars were accused of worshipping. I really need to find a way to research these subjects. Yeah, how can we research them? See how the fortified city has minarets? It looks eastern. Hmm, okay. There's a knight. This looks like St. George, the patron saint of England fighting the famous dragon. Like we did. Strange. The city on the right looks eastern, but it's being defended by a Christian knight. Wasn't St. George English? Actually, he nope. came from Turkey. Knight. There's the angel. This must be the angel that the manuscript refers to. Doesn't look much like treasure to me. Hmm, there's, maybe there's like a secret message or something in this? Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. Good question. Okay, we've got this, nothing apparently here. The manuscript was made in 1307. The Templars must have known an attack was imminent and took care their treasure would be safe. We've got hell. The fires of hell are consuming the city. Right. And then we've got the castle here with a king. A fairly typical depiction of a fortified European city. And there's a holy man and a king. Now that's a king who really loves himself. <laughs> a deformed holy man gazes over the seas. Right, okay. And we've got these as well. Fleur de Lys in some pattern. So, I wonder if we've got to maybe, like, use these things here to, I don't know, find a hidden message in it or something? Possibly. Can you decode it, George? Uh-uh, not fully. I need a library or a database. But the streets are too dangerous. Can't we get information online? Well, there is a website. Andre Labano's Society of Antiquarian Knowledge. Oh, no. Locked out. <laughs> Didn't you say that Virgil had hacking skills? Yeah, but he's pretty angry right now. That's and fine. Get charming. We've got his MP3 player, so he should be happy now. Where is he? Is he still over here? Yep. Alright, let's give him back his MP3 player then. I'm assuming it's his one and not just another one. Virgil, I know nothing can replace your MP3 player, but I thought this might ease the loss. Well, what do you know? Same model. Uh, you steal it? No, certainly not. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Exactly, so you stole it. Hmm. Well, it doesn't replace the music, though, does it? Ah, 
Heck, I got it all on CD at home anyway. <laughs> Thanks, George. You are welcome. Well, uh, maybe he will help us now then. Hey, Virgil, you got five minutes? Sure, what can I do for you? Um, all sorts of things. So, what happened after we barricaded ourselves in? First they broke into your office, then they searched the whole place, then they smashed everything up. Lovely. Oh, I bet you showed them a few moves though, hey Virgil? Are you kidding? I was under the desk, man. <laughs> oh, well so what did they do then? Busted my MP3 player and left. Well that's some story. <laughs> What's so funny, man? Well you, under a desk, Virgil. I mean, <laughs> I wish I'd seen that. You want to keep me as your friend, you better leave it, George. Right, fine. So, uh, how's Anna Maria been holding up? Oh, don't worry about her, man. I talked her into a nice, cool place. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, she's been through a lot, George. She needed a shoulder to lean on. Uh-huh. And you just happen to have one available, huh? You know me, George. Yep, I do. <laughs> Virgil, I need to get online to do some research. So go online. What's stopping you? Uh, the site I need blackballed me after Glastonbury. Locked me out. <laughs> Take it from me, George, and I've been in prison. Ain't no such thing as locked out. Now, where's that little gadget? I know it's here somewhere. There you go, George. This should be useful. What is it? It's a flashcard with a few little features of my own design. Just slip it into your PDA and ride that internet. Nice. Well, that's that then sorted. All right, cool. We'll leave it there. Um, we'll go online on the PDA in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.